Hello and good morning. Thank you that you can join me as I take my weather observation here in our neighborhood, Lorne Park, Lakeshore, Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. It's Sunday, March 24th, 2024, 9.30 in the morning. Mainly clear skies at zero octa temperature. It's below freezing at negative 3.8 degrees Celsius and the pressure is rising at 1029.8 millibars and the air quality is very low. In other words, the air is crisp <laughs> at 1.5 microgram per cubic meter for fine particulate matter at 2.5 microns. Precipitation wise, let's check the gauge. There's trace of snow from yesterday's um, passing light flurries. And despite the sunshine we got yesterday and above freezing, some of the snow on the ground has actually melted and compressed. However, I still measured about four centimeters of snow still on the ground. And because we're below freezing, I'm not sure if you can hear that. It's actually, it crunches when you step on it. So it's, it's quite a fascinating sound to hear when you step on the, uh, on the snow. Well, friends, today, even though it's March 24th, um, yesterday was actually a big day for the world of meteorology. Yesterday uh, was the World Meteorological Organization's um, starting date. And during those time, uh, the, the creation date of the WMO marks the World Meteorological Day. Um, the World Meteorological Organization is an international body that promotes standards and also um, standards about weather observation and also helps disseminate information uh, around weather and climate. And this year's theme for the World Meteorological Day is called At the Frontline of Climate Action. As a weather observer for the past two decades, um, using the science of observation, I have definitely seen a, a trend for warmer temperature. And because of that, the precipitation as well during winter time is more in the form of liquid form in instead of snow. Um, I've also seen in the past two decades where um, events are tend to be more extreme, i.e. If you have heat waves, it's more extreme and also more prolonged. If you have any um, rainfall events, sometimes it's also more, um, more extreme in a, in a way that an occurrence that used to happen once in every 100 years seems to be happening more and more often. All of us can play a part you know, in this um, ever-changing climate uh, situation. If you want to learn more about the World Meteorological Organization's uh, climate action, feel free to visit their website and see what are the different initiatives and, and events that they're planning to mark this year's World Meteorological uh, Day. They have some videos and learning materials about climate change mitigation, um, adaptation, as well as the state of the climate and how all of us can play a part in this situation. Well, friends, wherever you are, remember that the sun is always there and the cloud shall eventually pass. Have an awesome day. See you again tomorrow. Take care.